today we're going to start a brand new series called Reverse Engineering, where over the next several weeks, Scott and I are going to be looking at what God says about men, about what it looks like to be a godly husband, a godly, a godly man, a, a godly dad, or just a, a godly boyfriend, whatever that is. And even if, even if we know what God says about that, the other question is, how do you get there from where you are? So kind of as a comparison to that, I'm, I'm going to use a kind of a new hobby that I've developed over the last couple of years, and that, that's shooting guns. I didn't grow up around guns and didn't know how it all worked. I just thought that you got a gun, you put a bullet in it, you point it at something, and just like on TV, it always hit, hit where it was supposed to go. But the reality is that's not true at all. There, there's an art to it. There's a science to it. There's mechanics involved that until I sat down under the instruction of a, of, of a shooting instructor, I, I, didn't know, I didn't know what I was talking about. But over the last few weeks and months, I've, I've discovered that a lot of things about shooting line up with life. Like, like the, the basic thing is, uh, you're only going to hit what your gun is pointed at. And if, if your gun is pointed at something that you don't want to hit, um, don't pull the trigger, you know. And, but it's like that with life, too. Is A lot of us say, I, I know what I want to do in life. I, I know the kind of man I want to be. I know the kind of husband I want to be or boyfriend or friend, whatever that is. I know who I want to be. And it's, it's that. It's the bullseye. I want to be dead center of what God wants for my life and uh, what I want for my life. But then... We keep aiming or shooting way over in that direction. And then when we miss our target, we act surprised. Like, how did that happen? But the truth is, that's what we were aiming at. Those are the mistakes that we were making. We kept on we, we kept on making the same mistakes and then being surprised that we didn't hit the target. Um, it's the same way with, with shooting. Is that if, if that bullseye down there, if, if that represents the life that, that I want to live, the life that God intended me to live, the life that people in my life need me, need me to live, then I, then I have to point my life at that. I have to put my crosshairs on that life and not go to the left or the right, because if, if, if I want to hit that, but I'm aiming over there, I'm going to have a really, really, really frustrating life. So here's what I've learned is that that's not going to change. What my family needs from me, what life needs from me, what God wants from me, all that, that is always going to be the same. The target is always going to be the same. So anything that needs to change has to happen way up here, 100 yards this way from the target. Does that make sense? I, all the changes have to be in the this, the, the really small adjustments that I make here, up, down, left, left, left to right. The other, the other part of that is, if I'm a little bit off at 50 yards, it's not that big of a deal. I might be a, you know, a quarter inch off, but at 100 yards, I'm, I'm a half inch off. At 200 yards, I'm, I'm a full inch off. And down the road, the little mistakes I'm making now have a, have a big difference. If you use that light, it's the same way. I might make a small mistake with my son, my daughter, my wife, whatever, you know, early on. I think it's no big deal, but the effects of that played out a year, a decade, a lifetime make, make a big difference. And so I have to make adjustments up here, tiny little adjustments, so that down there it, it, makes, it makes the right impact. Now the fun starts. 